on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Good morning guys, good morning <laughs> How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are good. Um, welcome back to another vlog. I am currently in front of Walmart Auto Center. Let me show you guys. Boom. I was driving to UPS to go send off my friend's stuff and my car started showing, like the tire started showing that it's low. And I actually think it's because it's, the tire is leaking. It probably has some kind of hole in it, but yeah because after it came back from dallas after i was driven back from dallas it showed the thing and i went and put air in it and it's showing again so only that one tire keeps showing up that it needs air so i think it has a hole and the air is probably leaking but yeah milani's at the back and i had to pass by here i want to try and see hopefully i don't need to change the whole tire because honestly i am not i'm not ready for that right now okay <laughs> and also um i've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed lately like yesterday i was i just sat down and i just had to let it out you know basically because i was just feeling so overwhelmed you know interviewing and getting rejected and just um receiving those emails like oh we considered we had to go with another candidate blah 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 it's just like oh my god when does this end house chores is like never ending you guys am i the only person in this world who feels like house chores never finishes it's like every single day you wake up you do the same thing over and over and over again and it just does not end and literally yes i had to ask myself i said i'm the only one in this house who's using like plates and stuff it's just me and milani and i'm the one who's using most of this place like how does it get to this point even though i'm doing it every single day like every single day i do dishes every single day i'm sweeping the floor i'm mopping i'm washing the toilet every single day like how is it never ending <sighs> it is so weird to me how you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again it's like it never stops it never ends it's like to what extent i was watching korean movies to try to distract myself and then i went to sleep and i woke up this morning and gratefully like thank god i woke up this morning feeling different feeling more energized and as i'm talking to you guys it's only nine it's 10 23 i ha i have um started doing milani's laundry i have vacuumed the carpet and you know just organized around the house so you know i did my hair and i just you know put on clothes and i'm feeling a little bit more energized today so here i am out and about doing my stuff and i just said let me update you guys i actually realized that i brought my camera but i forgot my memory card from when i was editing the last video you guys watched i left it in the computer so yeah i do that all the time did i forget my memory card or my battery is too low to film but anyways i'm going to go see now what's wrong with the tire and i'll update you guys in fact let me show you guys look it's showing this warning sign right here it means that something is wrong and then when you look at my tire oops when you look at my tire you see that this one is 25 and every other one is above 30 so and it's you see that it's showing it in a different color it means that something is wrong they took a look it has a hole it has a a nail in it but thankfully it can be fixed so i'm about to go inside pay for it and then wait for it to get fixed then i'll head to ups so yeah i'll see you guys later you guys i've been roaming around walmart for over an hour waiting for them to call me to go pick up my car I'm tired, tired. You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for something new. Have you As you guys can see, my tire is fine now. That light has gone off and so is the warning sign. So yeah. It's been fixed and now I am heading to UPS. When I close my eyes, I see. Hey guys, I know I I'm literally looking crazy right now, like like please let's let's just ignore, okay? <laughs> I just got back from the mailbox and I went to go pick up some things that I ordered from Amazon to make my life easy. 
so I was like let me open it up with you guys it's the next day by the way yesterday when we got back we just ate I fed Milani and we both took a shower and I just relaxed today is Wednesday but you guys will not get a video because as I said yesterday I'm a little overwhelmed I woke up this today I woke up five something because that was when Milani woke up to feed and after that I just didn't go back to sleep because it's just how I am <sighs> I do not I have a video I made a video for you guys of my newborn essentials so all of the things that we bought the ones we did not use and the one that we actually used so if you did miss that video I will link it at the end of this video so that when you're done watching this one you can watch that but yeah I did make a that I did make that video but I didn't have the strength to edit it for you guys because it's kind of a hard video to edit because I'm showing you guys stuff that I actually used so that means that I have to go and film every single one of those items so that as I'm showing you guys I'll be so that as I'm telling you guys about it I'll be showing you guys what it is for reference purposes you know just to help other new moms out there who are like wondering what do I even buy where do I even start from because I know I was there like I was there I was there a few months ago like what do I even put on my registry what do I even buy babies need a lot of stuff but there are some essential things that you need you don't need to buy any and everything so yeah that's what that video is for so make sure you watch it, it might be helpful and I'm also going to link everything in the description box in case you decide to buy. It's taking me forever to open this damn box. That's how lazy I am. I know you guys are wondering like, <laughs> you've never seen Milani on my back before. This is like our fifth time of me putting her on my back. I started a few uh, weeks ago. She was crying a lot and she was so sleepy. And I like rocked her the normal way that I usually rock her to go back to sleep but she refused to go to sleep i fed her she refused to go to sleep and i was like what the heck and she kept scratching her eyes so when milani is sleepy she will scratch and scratch and scratch her eyes so she kept scratching her eyes and doing all of those sleep signs but she wouldn't go to sleep so i was like you know what what am i doing i'm nigerian this is what we do <laughs> so i went to go and look for one of her muslim swaddle and i put her on my back and immediately she went to sleep i was like jack pot <laughs> So since then, every time she starts fuzzing, I'll just put her on my back and she will go to sleep. Right now, so I thought you guys can't hear her talk, right? Because she's falling asleep. It's, her, it's time for her to take her afternoon nap. It was funny because immediately I started putting her on my back. My mother-in-law sent me, uh, mind you, she didn't know I was wearing Milani this well. She sent me a TikTok video of an African woman. I don't know where she's from exactly. But she looked like she was from South Africa, if I'm not mistaken, or from that type of, you know, from the South so she was in a store and she just like put her baby on the back tie him up and just went about her day and somebody filmed it so she showed it to me making reference to like oh are you ever gonna do this and it was funny to me because i already started doing it crazy because you you not i now live in america and yet in my head i still do the exact same things like i would do them back in nigeria because i'm now abroad doesn't mean anything. yes i would like take a little bit of their culture but it doesn't mean that I would forget mine completely, you know? So I'm still gonna raise my child the way that I was raised, the way that I was taught to do things, except the only reason I wouldn't do it is if it was wrong or harming the baby. I know a lot of West, uh, Westerners, like people here in the US, people that didn't grow up in Nigeria or in African countries, think that, oh my God, like the baby is uncomfortable, the baby will fall off, no this is something that has been done for centuries it was done to me and i turned out fine it was done to all of my siblings it was done to lots of people before my generation and they are all fine see that she has fallen asleep and by the time i'm done showing you guys these things i can go bring her down but i bought this munchkin fruit teething feeder thingy so i saw this when I was doing my baby research, right? But I never bought it. But now that Milan is teething, she has been, she's been struggling a whole lot. So a friend of mine told me, why don't you buy this? My baby really likes it. So I decided to buy it for her to try. So I'm going to wash it up. It looks like, so So basically you put frozen fruits inside and they, as they are biting it, it's like helping them 
to um it's helping their teething thing because it's cool and it will help with the pain in the gums so that's why i bought this i got this set of eyebrow tweezers i don't know if you guys can see but my eyebrow is completely terrible it has grown out so much but since i came back from dallas i can't find my set of tweezers so I, I had to buy myself a new one so it looks like so it has different um types of tweezers brush scissors and everything for me to groom my eyebrows you guys see that i have really thick eyebrows something that people go out to go and do fake one i have it in abundance <laughs> i got this pumic stone for my leg if you don't know what this is is the thing you use at the bottom of your feet so that you can take off all the dead skin a lot of a lot of people who grew up in africa knows this is a very normal thing in our bathroom i also got me a new set of um tripod because the one that i have now i lost some pieces of it so this one looks a little bit more sturdier than the one that i have right now so the one that i have right now this thing here like sunk in for some reason i don't know why but every time i try to bring it back up it wouldn't come up so now every time i put my camera on, on it like i like it is now i get scared because i don't know if my camera is gonna fall or not and then the most important part of why i bought this is this this is a bluetooth remote that you connect to your phone and you attach this to the tripod and you can take pictures of yourself you can make tiktok videos reels and stuff like that from your phone that's the reason why i bought this because this piece from the old one that i have is missing like i can't find it anymore i want to be more consistent with making like tiktok videos reels and stuff and i filming with my phone wasn't working out because i didn't have this part anymore and a lot of my instagram pictures i take them myself at home i will literally take my tripod and everything and go out to like nice places and take pictures of myself outdoors and you won't even know that i took pictures of myself please you guys i know you guys can tell that like my energy in this video is a little bit meh because you know i told you guys like i'm feeling a bit tired i'm feeling a bit down a bit unmotivated a bit overwhelmed so but i really wanted to show you guys a day or days in my life where i'm not always hyper i'm not always jumping i'm not always like yes let's go let's get it because that's life like this is real life like i have been doing this <laughs> for months by myself and sometimes it gets completely overwhelming like talking about it alone i'm getting emotional sometimes it's hard and i don't always want to come here and make it seem like oh like every day is all roses and it's not some days are very exhausting some days i'm tired some days i just don't want to do it anymore i don't want to be doing all of it anymore but oh but <laughs> i really love when you guys come to i really love when you guys come to my instagram and you tell me that oh like when i watch your videos i know i can do it and i'm just showing you guys this part to say that it's okay for the days that you really can't it's okay for the days that you feel like giving up or as you guys can see like i feel like i feel that way but i'm not giving up like i woke up this morning and i still made my bed okay every single day i do that because i feel like it helps me start the day it helps me feel like i have achieved something and i woke up this morning and i called my mom and i was telling her like oh this is what's been going on another thing is milani has been refusing to eat and she started really good but now she's refusing because she had a little bit of a like an allergic reaction to one certain food that i gave her and i feel like since then she's been having a little bit of a you know like she feels like if she eats food again she's going to throw up which i understand so like it's almost as if i'm starting all over again we've been eating food for the past almost three weeks now but it's as if we've been doing it all over again because now i have to like i will make her food she will refuse to eat i will throw it away and i'll make another one she will refuse to eat and the next day i will throw it it's just been a lot it's been a lot so you can see like aside everything going on it's like our eating progress is like going backwards instead of going forward 
but now I'm still building and realizing the things that she likes and we're just doing it like that so you guys can see some of the reasons why I've been overwhelmed anyways I'm going to go now <laughs> before I cry for you guys see you guys later good morning good morning good morning my family good morning my people <laughs> Oh my god, clearly you guys can tell I am doing way better than yesterday. I woke up this morning and I was just energized. I was like, snap out of it girl, what's wrong with you? It's 9.01 and I've been awake for a while now. Let me tell you guys a secret. <laughs> so yesterday, it was so bad that I didn't want to take a shower. I went to sleep without taking a shower. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I went outside, sat on the ground, and started playing with Sanjari. Like, it's okay. I just like wash some sensitive parts, you know, <laughs> spray some deodorant, and I went to sleep. I was like, nobody's gonna arrest me. Nobody's gonna arrest me. <laughs> so, I had to wake up this morning way ahead of Milani to um, take a shower so you guys can see. Like, I feel good. When I woke up, I was like craving waffles for some reason and it actually made me miss my husband because every single time we ate waffles in this house my husband made that waffles like i don't know it was just an unspoken like every single time there was a waffle situation he made the waffles nobody said you have to make the waffles or not it was just something that he did even when we we're back in italy it's just something that he did every time maybe some weekends when we we're both home he will make the waffles so when i thought about waffles it made me miss him and i was like i want waffles so I got all my stuff ready to make waffles then Milani started crying because she was like hungry so I had to go feed her so I just finished feeding her so yeah let's go ahead and make that waffle I feel good I feel good so you guys don't worry about me I feel good let's make waffles let's make waffles I'm going to be using some oat milk um so it's like an already made waffle mix I have my bowl Let's eat some waffles. <laughs> so I actually feel like doing banana waffles. So I'm going to smash one banana and put inside so it can taste like banana. I don't know why, but that's what I thought. He lives in me. I know I don't yet know it. So I trust you when you say that beauty lives in me too. Too. I don't know why but I like my bacon really really crispy my MIL taught me how to make it the perfect way so instead of putting it in a frying pan and doing all of that and gathering oil microwave it this got this crispy for microwaving it for four minutes and 30 seconds mm, love that crunch <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and eat my breakfast now and I'll see you guys later bye Bye. 